Hi, I'm Ashley Henderson, and I'm a sophomore attending Pennville Memorial High School. To keep a smile on my face, I usually just surround myself with people that I love and care about, and I occupy myself with things I love to do, like playing the saxophone or listening to music or doodling. About one and a half, two years ago, I lost a close family friend named Tom to suicide. He was actually my mom's boyfriend, and we lived with him for about seven years, and i known him for about ten years. Um, and then about three to four months later, I lost my grandma, Joan, to cancer. And about three weeks ago to a month ago, I lost my great-grandma, Vernetta. Definitely my best friends helped me a lot through these times because they were always there when I needed them. I would be able to call them right up no matter what time and they would answer right away and talk to me about whatever I needed to talk about and I also feel like I got a lot closer with my mom just because we lost these people together so we could cope with it together and help each other through it. I did a lot of different things. I pretty much just kept myself occupied. Um, you know, I stayed surrounded by people that I love and care about and um, I involved myself in a lot of different things. Just, you know, hanging out with friends and, and doing things with them and, you know, little things around the house like rearranging my room or, you know, just anything that would keep my mind off of it. One of the hardest parts of these losses was the realization that once you lose them, they're never coming back. Like, they're, it's kind of like a permanent thing. And that was one of the hardest things to grasp, that I would never see them again. Um, they have greatly impacted my plans for the future. Um, with all the pain and anxiety and different emotions that you go through during this process, it always feels nice when you have someone there to talk to. And that kind of veered me towards the uh, psychology route, being a psychologist, because... I went to a couple of psychologists going through these things and they taught me some awesome coping mechanisms and, you know, just ways to make myself feel better and about the situation and myself and I want to be one of those people who can help other people along in the process because, you know, it was very hard for me so it was nice to have that person to talk to and that's exactly what I want to do for others.